Hey. I've been calling you. I know. I'm sorry, baby. I just didn't want to talk. No, it's okay. I just want to see how you're doing. Is there anything I can do? You tell me how to stop giving a crap. That's who you are. Oh, yeah. I thought I was a good cop, too, you know? Smart enough to know when I'm being played, but then I went and took Sonny at his word and believed him when he said he was innocent. You didn't know that Sonny was going to skip bail. Well, I should have. He's a criminal. I mean, that's that's what he does. <laughs> Why would I give him the benefit of the doubt? Because he's your father? Not in any way that counts. Well, love him or hate him, you're always going to give a crap about Sonny. You told me, you know... Not to get caught up that I, that I shouldn't let my emotions cloud my judgment. And what do I do? I go into a courtroom and I tell a judge that Sonny's not a flight risk. He waits all of 10 minutes to disappear. I mean, so much for trust. Okay, well, do you think that Sonny ran because he's guilty or because everyone assumes that he is? I don't know. I don't know what to think anymore. Michael thinks Sonny ran because he was being railroaded. And that's ironic because that's the kid who's been hurt more than anyone by Sonny, and he's standing by him. Well, that doesn't surprise me. Michael's always wanted to see the best in his father, but maybe now that Sonny's gone, maybe he'll see him for who he really is. Uh, this, this investigation's at a dead end now that Sonny took off. But Michael challenged me to keep at it, to find out the truth one way or the other. So you stated you were at Kelly's meeting with Ethan Levitt prior to the shooting. It wasn't really a meeting. I was there before Ethan showed up. Can anyone not on your payroll corroborate that you were actually at Kelly's the night of August 20th? Yes, Sonny's father refused me service. Okay. So you left Kelly's and went to Baker Street? Yeah. I took Elm for a few blocks, and then I cut over to Baker. Was Ethan still with you? I was alone. Where were you headed? To my apartment. So let me get this straight. You walked home alone at night without so much as a gun for protection. I didn't know I'd be running into Sonny. But you do know Sonny's restaurant is around the corner. <laughs> you know that too very well, don't you? My apartment's around the corner as well. Earlier you stated you were hoping to speak with Sonny about calling a truce of some sort. Yeah, obviously a truce wasn't on his mind, was it? Well, I can't see why it's on your mind, actually. I'm really curious about that. I mean, you've, you've made it clear from the beginning that you wanted Sonny to pay for how he treated your sister. Even went so far as providing pictures to help me take him down. Why call a truce now? I don't want Sonny's kids to be collateral damage. Not even a pause. In my experience, the more confident a person is about answering questions, the more likely they're lying. I just can't win with you, can I? It's a simple observation. It's a simple interrogation, really. I'm the victim here. You're supposed to be on my side. Instead, you're doing everything you can prove Sonny is innocent. Again. Right now, the only way Michael's gonna believe that Johnny was shot in self-defense is if Sonny admits it. Well, that's not gonna happen. Well, I gotta prove it. I gotta find a witness who saw Johnny unarmed. And then Michael's gotta hear that testimony. I mean, I'm hoping that'll be enough to sway his blind faith he's got in his father. What if you prove that Sonny was telling the truth? How are you gonna feel about him? He's still a criminal, I'm still a cop. I mean, that's a fundamental difference. Are you gonna want a relationship with Sonny? That call you walked in on, it was an invitation to a house party. The host encouraged me to bring a date. Me? Yes. It would be awkward if I showed up alone. I'll pay you to be my date for the weekend. Um, no, no, you have the wrong impression. I'm actually not a hooker. You took money from Carly to sleep with Dante, did you? Yeah, I didn't go through with you it. You will not be required to sleep with me. I simply need someone to accompany me for the weekend. And you will be paid well. And what do you say?
it's always about you, isn't it? It's always about what you want to do and what you want to talk about. Why do you have to control everything? Where the hell is this coming from? I have an idea. Uh-huh. What? And it's not good enough, right? Oh, shit. What? Just... What? Sit there, Brenda, and look gorgeous. And please, don't have an opinion. But in the meantime, Lois has an idea, and you give her a Nobel Prize. Why? Pie. I don't want to hear this. Oh, see? See? Of course you don't want to hear it, because it's what matters to me. It's what's important to me. And I didn't ask for your approval for that, did I, Sonny? Well, I am so sorry. May I please have your permission to speak, sir? Shut up, little girl. That's it. I can't deal with your jealousy anymore. I've always been faithful to you. I have never given you a reason not to trust me. Oh, wait, I, didn't, I never said that, so don't be putting words in my mouth. This isn't even about Miguel anymore. What? I don't even know what's going on anymore. I feel like I have to ask your permission for everything. I feel like I have to ask for your permission for, for what I say and for what I do. For who my friends are. This is not my idea of a relationship. Say something to me. Say something, Sonny. I'm not just about this. I'm not just about this. No, you understand. You have to deal with what's inside of me, too. Enough. Why can't you say it no, to me? No. Why can't you just say it to me? Why? Why can't anyone say it to me? Why? How's the water? What do you What do you mean you're here? It, of course I want to see you. Where are you? Oh, okay, okay. Uh, so I'll meet you down at the garden entrance in five minutes. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Sera. Cosa bevi? Uh, un caffè. Excuse me. Parli inglese? How can I help you? I need to know if you uh, see this woman come out of the hotel. Oh, many times. You're not the first to wish to catch a glimpse. 